Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Dr. Tara Cannon, the owner and CEO of Tara Cannon LLC, where we empower and develop individuals through education and health. <clears throat> we offer four services, health coaching, professional nurse tutoring, vegan meals for two, and consulting. Welcome to your debunking diet myth series. We are going to be concluding the series, but I do have one last recipe for you. This recipe was requested. So I have these items here for you to make a delicious dairy-free Alfredo sauce. We are making an Alfredo sauce from zucchini this morning. My family is gonna have this later on today. So um, let's get started. How is everybody this morning? I hope everybody is doing well. <clears throat> I will be using my Vitamixer for this recipe. So I have my Vitamixer. I've already boiled my zucchini. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I have two small zucchini here. If you have uh, one big zucchini, that will suffice for this recipe, okay? So I have two small zucchinis. I have one half chopped small onion. This is just a yellow onion. So it's one half small chopped of the yellow onion. I've already boiled my zucchini and you can tell that it's boiled here. And I air fried the onions. You don't wanna put raw onions in this recipe. I did that before and it's not good. Okay. Let's see what else we have here for you. I have two teaspoons of lemon juice in this bowl here. I have a half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper here. I have one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and one tablespoon of tahini sauce. This is also known as a sesame seed sauce. Um, you can get this from a Publix. I'm sure you can get it from Kroger. You can get it from any health food store. Uh, some of your local grocery stores do carry tahini sauce. Um, however, when I've been in the Midwest, I have not been able to locate it at the Jewel, at least in my neighborhood anyway. And I have one teaspoon of pink salt here. So um, I'll try to remember to put the uh, recipe in the comment section, but I'll just repeat what I have once more. Thank you for watching. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have two small zucchini here. If you have one larger zucchini and those of you that shop the produce, you know what I'm talking about. That will suffice for this recipe. I have one half chopped yellow onion. Both of these have been cooked. <clears throat> I have one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and I have one tablespoon of tahini sauce. I have one teaspoon of pink salt here for this recipe. I have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And I have um, two teaspoons of lemon juice for this recipe. I'm just going to cut up this uh, zucchini or peel it rather to get started. And I just have this little uh, you can use this to peel potatoes. You can use it to peel carrots. I like this because I can quickly kind of put the ingredients in my recipe. Like uh, when I do my lentil carrot soup, I use this to get the shavings off the carrot. And then I just, it cuts real nicely. So I'm just skinning my zucchini here. You know, when I used to eat meat and dairy, I actually really liked um, Alfredo sauce. I mean, I would go to Olive Garden by myself uh, just so I could go get the pasta. So I love the whole creaminess of Alfredo sauce, but what the dairy was doing to my body, I did not love that. So I like the idea of creamy sauces on pasta. And now that I'm only eating from the four groups, you know, the fruits, grains, vegetables, and legumes, I really consider myself a starch of war too. So, um, we eat a lot of pasta in my house. But now that I'm eating from those categories, I still like the creamy sauce, but I wanna do it and, uh, and be healthy. Even if you get a few of these uh, green peels in your Alfredo sauce, it's not gonna matter. It's cooked, you know, it's, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I've seen some people do uh, zucchini pasta. Many of you have probably seen that too, a lot of YouTube videos. 
people will do zucchini pasta, but um, that doesn't quite satisfy because the thing about vegetables is you do have to keep eating them to fill up. And that's why the starches are so important. And um, I will be renaming myself a starchivore. I think that name better suits what I do here on this channel. So I'm renaming myself starchivore. But there's nothing wrong with the people who want to do zucchini pasta. I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying the, the starches give you an overall sense of fullness. Uh, they're complex carbohydrates. They last longer in your body. So that's why I'm just a proponent of those starches. Uh, my family eats about rice just about every day. I even have a rice cooker now. Like that's a part of my routine, getting up in the morning and making us rice, putting us on, getting some type of starch ready for my family. I think some of you heard my video when I said when I was in Africa, we ate a lot of rice. And when I came back home to the United States, I was trimmer and did not put it together back then that <laughs> I was eating starches. I was eating starches and I was not consuming the standard American diet. So, you can cut the zucchini up if you like. It's already pretty soft. I'm gonna go ahead and add the zucchini and the cooked onion in my Vitamix. When I cooked this last time, like I said, the zucchini just made for a nice creamy feel. I'm going to put my half chopped onion in there as well. I know some of you might say she's recording this video uh, quite early. I am on the East Coast. So it is actually um, 630 here. I'm going to put in my half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and my half a teaspoon of garlic now. I want to make sure I get all of that. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put in my two teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm going to put in my one teaspoon of pink salt. Let me check that recipe to make sure. It's a teaspoon of pink salt because that looked like more than a teaspoon. That's right, it's a teaspoon. But of course you can salt this to taste. I'm gonna put in my tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And I wanna talk about, I wanna have a conversation about this tahini sauce before I continue. Let's have a conversation about tahini, okay? Let's talk about it. I do not buy tahini on a regular grocery haul. If I kind of have it in my refrigerator, it's there. If I don't, I don't. Um, I will use tahini to make uh, a baba ganoush sauce. If you've ever been to Mediterranean restaurants, they have um, baba ganoush sauce. But ask them to make sure they're not making it with milk. Some people make it with milk, but you can make it without milk. Uh, baba ganoush sauce is just made from eggplant. It's pretty much the same thing I'm doing now, but you're using eggplant as the sauce. But I found out the zucchini works better over the Alfredo than the um, eggplant does. So, so I want to talk about tahini just for a moment. If I am working with you and you were my health coaching client and you were a diabetic or if you had high blood pressure and we were trying to get you to lose the weight and we were trying to get you to... Um, you know, get the fat out of your diet so that your body can start to heal itself. I probably would caution you against buying the tahini sauce. Tahini sauce is, is, has a lot of fat in it. And if you're starting off on a vegan diet and you're trying to be more plant-based, incorporate those plants into your diet, plants still have fat in them. That's important to remember. Plants still have fat in them. Um, and, and of course, yes, it's healthy fat. But if you're trying to actually lose the weight, you want to be careful of things like nuts, the tahini sauce, obviously, uh, avocados. And that's only if you're trying to lose the weight. Oils. Um, as you get older, you want to put less and less oil into your diet. Um, I may put more oil in sometimes some of the things I might do for the kids. But with my husband and me, I really try to limit the oil we have. I mean, my husband is 
in his 40s now. You know, I'm pushing 40. So I try to really uh, just just stay away from the oils. And, you know, the, the older we get, um, I will tighten it up even more because the older you get, your arteries are aging too, right? Are they not? Your arteries are aging. So your arteries can't suffer that insult that often comes from higher fat foods, foods with a lot of oil in it. So as you get older, and I'm not saying, hey, enjoy some uh, some vegan food all the time, some uh, comfort vegan food, but I'm saying, you know, as you get older, you want to be careful about the oil intake. So that's why you see me when I say I'm going for a run, I say, hey, I'm going to have a good bit of rice today. Um, when I went for a run last, last weekend, you know, my husband had some rice ready for me when I came back from the run. Um, I had a smoothie, you know, so, so I tend not to go too much with the, with too many oils and too many fats, even eating plant-based because yes, it's healthier for you. You know, the fats are not processed, but you want to be, you want to be careful with the intake. So that tablespoon of tahini, just so I can give you the full picture of tahini sauce. And while I would say, if you're really trying to start off and lose the weight as a vegan, you want to, you want to be careful with it. Uh, Two tablespoons has 20 grams of fat in it, 20 grams. So mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't do, or I try not to do too much fat in my diet. Um, some of you that know me personally know that I'm working on doing more strength training. Of course, I've been doing more running, just trying to build even more muscle uh, into my, uh, my food there. So you 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 want to be careful with the uh, with the fat content, and that's only if you're trying to you know get the weight off, you know. And I'm saying a, what, a safe weight loss, like one to two pounds a week. That's the safe way to lose the weight, and that's what will happen to your body as you're on this diet. Uh, you don't even have to exercise initially when doing this. Just just eat, and and the weight will come off. I may have to add some water to this. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. My Vitamix. <laughs> And the nutritional yeast is going to give it more of an orange, uh, yellowy type feel. Look good. So I can safely say that for this recipe, I only have 10 grams of fat in the sauce. Nobody else is coming over. Just the family and I are going to eat this. So I'm going to join you. That's good. I wouldn't do anything different to it. And the, it makes a difference in cooking the onion. Like I said, last time I just put the onion in there raw, raw. It didn't taste good. <laughs> so cook your onion. Um, I'm going to save this for the family or later because we're going to have this over some pasta. And there's your Alfredo sauce, a lot cleaner. You could even go with a half of... You can even go with a half a tablespoon of tahini and make this five grams of fat if you want it to. You don't need a lot of tahini to make it really do what it does. So it's it's turned out really delicious. I'm really happy with it. Um, I did uh, make this a few times before I showed you guys, so you can go home and this is this will work for you. <laughs> Let me get all that sauce out of there. I don't want to waste any. You can see these little bowls that I got. I actually got these from, I think I got these little bowls from Ross. But of course I use them when I'm showing you guys what I'm cooking, but it comes with a lid as well. So, you know, the same thing I use for prep, I can just store my sauce with it. So I have to do give you a tour one day of just the items I have in my kitchen. I know I did a pantry tour. I've done a grocery haul, but just to show you how, what helps me be efficient in my home. I'll have to do a tour of that. So I'm just gonna make some pasta today for my family and we're gonna pour this sauce over it. 
And that's that's my biggest tip for today. If you are eating a uh, plant-based, a vegan diet, and like I said, I consider myself more of a starch of war. That's my new name. If you are eating that way um, and you're really trying to lose the weight, of course, if you're struggling with a chronic illness, and I'm not saying that you can't have any plant fats. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you're trying to really lose the weight, you're trying to get the weight off, you want to be careful about the plants that do have fat in them. Um, this is also another question that I want to answer to. Actually, it's not a question that's posed, but I'm sure it's on people's minds quite a bit. Uh, why are some vegans overweight? There are two, two answers to that. If you see a vegan and they're overweight, perhaps they're eating way too much uh, plant fat. That could be the case, right? So the rich rich plant plant fat foods, like, um, like I'm saying, maybe they have a whole carton of nuts for breakfast. Maybe they have, they use a half a jar of tahini and a sauce that they're making. Maybe they eat three avocados at each meal. Um, maybe they're putting, maybe they're frying a lot of their vegetables. So, and so they're adding a lot of oil. One, one tablespoon of any vegetable oil, whether it be coconut, olive oil, avocado oil, one tablespoon of oil is 14 grams of fat. So you can see it's, it's really easy to also put weight on when you're eating from plants, but, but at least you can tweak and say, this is where, this is what put the extra pounds on for me. This is what did it. This is what did it. You're not eating from all the, the dairy and all the extra food. So you can more so pinpoint uh, what you need to do for your, for your best self. So, and also if you see a vegan eating too much processed stuff, like there's a lot of processed vegan stuff out on the market. And when I'm first uh, coaching a client, I, I try to get them to eat real food. I try to get them to cook like this first instead of buying stuff that's in the package. And of course, I'm not I'm not trying to hold you to a law and say, well, don't ever pick up anything that's vegan in a package. Don't ever do that. I didn't say that. But when you're when you're first starting off, you, you need to know how to cook these and do these well. The packaged food should not be a part of your staple. You know, maybe that's a, a weekend treat or something like that. Um, but if you're trying to reverse those chronic illnesses, you're trying to get the weight off, you need to continue to eat real food. Just like how we made this sauce this morning. The sauce is made from real food. It's a zucchini. And like I said, I could cut the fat even more in that recipe and go with a half a tablespoon of tahini sauce and make the entire sauce five grams of fat. So you can imagine when you're getting your serving of zucchini alfredo sauce that is really low in fat and you continue to eat as much pasta as you'd like, but watching the fat content. So if you, again, if there's a vegan out there and you're wondering why is the vegan overweight, there's probably two reasons. Maybe they're eating too many plant fats. And the second reason is maybe they're buying a lot of quote unquote vegan stuff in the package. A lot of those things, they do have a lot of oil in it. So you, just, you still have to be careful if you're eating out a lot as a vegan. Some restaurants are really clean and really, uh, you know, suit what you're trying to do. So, and there are so many choices out there now. I know my sister-in-law, there's a restaurant where she lives that, that she goes to. And I, I can't wait to this whole no COVID thing clear so I can go with her. But um, there's a lot of restaurants that make a lot of nice, clean food. Um, but some places you go, I mean, for the most part, we are very much a society bent on meat and dairy. So a lot of places you go, they will put a lot of oil in your vegetables. They will put a lot of oil in your starches. And so if you're eating out a lot, just be careful of that. Because there are some vegans that are overweight and you're like, what's going on? I thought this diet was supposed to help me. And it does. It does. It just takes some tweaking. And maybe it even takes a health coach. Maybe you need a personalized, uh, holistic approach to health coaching today. I'm your lady. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this recipe helpful. If you have any questions about the ingredients I used or just tips on how to make it, please let me know. <clears throat> Someone asked me the other day if I was working on a second cookbook. <laughs> and everything that I've been making so far uh, it's, it's, it's kind of been new. So I am working on a second cookbook. I have been writing the recipes down. Um, so I am working on a second cookbook. And it's funny because you think you're going to get 
uh, bored with this diet, but I'm just telling you in the past few months, cooking with you all, I've come up with so many new things. Uh, so, so I'm excited about that. So, uh, the second cookbook is in the, is in the works. I am recording everything that I'm doing. I actually have some sweet potatoes boiling behind me because I'm trying to perfect my sweet potato recipe, uh, sweet potato pie recipe so I can bring it to you. That's dairy free, of course. And yeah, who needs an egg in it? Really? It has to cook longer, but you don't have to have an egg in your sweet potato pie. So that's what I'm working on. Always working on something for you guys. Uh, revamping the, uh, or getting some edits done to my website. Uh, so I'm excited about where this group is going, where this channel is going. I'll have to do like a state of the state of the union address or state of the health and wellness for the believer address and let you guys know what's in the works. Uh, lots of ideas. Um, really, really investing more into the business right now. So I'm so excited. And I thank you guys for your support. Uh, you guys sending me the request, you know, you, you all keep it going. So I appreciate that very much. The, the questions, the comments, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Again, this has been Dr. Tara Cannon, owner and CEO of Tara Cannon LLC. I hope you were empowered today. I hope you were educated with this recipe. I hope that you got some great tips. Um, have a great Thursday. Thank you guys for watching.